guys, it's Lauren. I miss seeing you guys all every day. Um, as we enter into week three, if you're like most of my families, uh, home from school, you might be noticing or hearing from your kids that uh, these toys are getting a little old. Maybe they're getting tired of playing with some of the, the things that uh, are available to them. So I'm here to give you some tips from an SLP about how to make toys interesting again, even if maybe they've been being played with for the past three weeks. So you guys know at OTA we love to hide things in our sensory bins. We use rice and beans, and that's definitely something that you could recreate at home too. Kids really love this opportunity to search and find. It promotes a lot of good communication. But um, you might be thinking, you know, let's don't waste food in the sense of uh, beans and rice, or maybe just that it would encourage your kids to put their hands in their mouth, which is obviously something we're trying to avoid right now. So uh, there are other nice sensory bin options. One I always liked using in my sensory bin at school was these uh, decorative leaves. So I've just decanted some of them here, as you can see. But for a lot of kids, the most important thing about a toy is not so much what it is, but uh, where it is and what is the activity surrounding it. So a little search and find. Definitely fun for a lot of toys. Similarly, if the weather is nice, a search and find outside is, uh, is always a good idea. So tucking favorite toys, even ones that have been seen before in Easter eggs, this is actually a kinder egg, don't tell, is another good way to uh, increase their value on the kids' marketplace. I sometimes use uh, gum cups like this. They're designed to be in a, in a cup holder of your car to hold larger toys so kids can go seek those out. There's a little popsicle in here. Uh, another favorite OTA trick that really increases the value of a, uh, a toy that maybe is on its way out is uh, blue tape. You might have noticed there's actually a toy behind me, and sometimes it's just the location of a toy that turns it from a not-so-interesting item into a more high-value idea. So I hope this has given you some ideas about how you can uh, spruce up the same old toys with kids who maybe are starting to get a little bit uh, squirrely about their playtime. All right, I hope to see you all soon. Bye!